The general rule we follow on Brainiac is that if an experiment doesn't work, we drop it. However, with Dr. Bunhead, we found that if we actually followed that rule, we'd have very little left at all. So we like to keep all the bits of rubbish he cobbles together, shove it into the show and basically, well, hope for the best. And while we rarely get the best, there's usually something or other that happens which we can use, generally despite his best efforts. Take this, for example. He's trying to produce a little flame from a gas-filled glove to toast some bread. So I think it's a huge, ferocious flame. OK, maybe a different glove would help. It's not big enough for a pin. In the fact, okay. So now it's the pin's fault. But, as usual, he pushes it just a little too far. A short, squirty flame, but not exactly of toast-making proportions. And yes, we all know what's going to happen next. He puts too much gas in and... So now it's all hands on the deck, then, to stop the sprinklers going off. Another miserable failure, but at least no loss of life. Not yet, anyway. And, of course, Dr Bunhead has been flung out of more boozers than Oliver Reed. I've told you, don't come back. Tied up and writhing around in the street, no-one seems particularly bothered to help him out. We really should have left him there. It would have been the kindest thing all round. Nice Our favourite Bunhead moment, though, is when we nearly lost him altogether. He decided to inhale a lung full of xenon. It's a gas that's heavier than air, which does the reverse of helium. It makes your voice go deeper. Hi, I'm Barry. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm Dr Bunhead, and you're watching Brainiac. Oh, Barry White, eat your heart out. Oh, my goodness. Hey, baby, is that sexy? Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Unfortunately, you can inhale a bit too much, which is what Bunhead did, of course. He's cool. Lungs chock full of xenon instead of the usual hot air, the first aid team give him some well-needed treatment in the form of a soothing back rub until the ambulance arrives. The poor crew being dragged away from a proper emergency. Um, an ECG machine in there. Yes. The reason being is he had some xenon, mm -hmm. which is heavy, and it's what it's made him feel attacked worse. I've had this case before, mate. No. And of course, he has to have the last word. That was very stupid. Don't try that, kids. Wind up an ambulance. And not only is he rubbish at doing experiments, he's also a rubbish driver. Watch him take out the left-hand wing mirror. Wing mirror. Yes, Dr Bunhead. A danger to everybody and everything around. What does that say up there? It says you're a muppet. <laughs> does it? <laughs>